made the, made the ark. It says, and this is how you use Christ to interpret the scriptures in Noah. You could really preach John 3, 16 from Noah being the preacher of righteousness. And so what was Noah telling those people? Man, God loves us so much. He doesn't want any of us to perish. What does John 3, 16, 16 say? God loves a couple or God so loved the world? The world. Okay, so what was Noah doing when he was busy preaching the righteousness of God? God so loved the world that he sent this ark yeah. that none might, that all who believe wouldn't perish, but would have everlasting life. That's the thing Noah was busy preaching there. He was building the ark. He was a preacher of righteousness. He's not the only preacher of righteousness. Jesus is the real preacher of righteousness. I think it's Psalm 40, but go read in Psalms the preacher of righteousness. It's Jesus, and what does he say? I stood in the midst of the great congregation declaring your righteousness, O God. Well, what, what righteousness? The righteousness to save from sin and death. And the righteousness to consume the thing that was killing us. And so Noah was preaching about God's righteousness to come and end the old world system and to preserve our lives in this ark. That all who believe that God would end their suffering and preserve their lives wouldn't perish. That's what Noah was busy with. That's why he was busy building the ark. Who had him build the ark? God. Why did God want him to build the ark? So he wouldn't perish in the flood. Right? Who would Noah be preaching to if he was the preacher of righteousness? The world or some? The world. The world. The world. Anybody could have gotten on the ark just like anybody could believe in Jesus. Do you see how when we wonder who could have gotten on the ark? Who was Noah preaching to? Huh, I don't know. Do you see how we look to Christ mm -hmm. to tell us what to think about that? Mm -hmm. Because Christ is actually the manifestation of the one who found grace in the eyes of God. It says Noah saw God's eyes were full of grace. Jesus is the one who saw God's eyes were full of grace. Did Jesus see God's eyes were full of grace to the world or just to some? To, to the world. So do you see how we let that now give shape to what we think about Noah? Yes. And so we see how Jesus came and preached to the world. Noah came and preached to the world. Right? Sure. Do you guys see that? Yes. Do you, you see know, how you want to look at that? I do see how... 